Ariana Grande is one of the most famous, if not the most famous, female artists at the time. Her popularity is at an all-time high with sold-out concerts, constant hit songs, and her massive fan base. Currently, she has over 161 million followers on Instagram. That being said, the 26-year-old definitely has a lot of money in the bank. So I've always been curious as to where Ariana calls home. The Florida native travels around the world, touring a lot, and leads a busy life, but she has a couple houses. From what I know, Ariana has a mansion in Beverly Hills and a fancy spot in NYC too. So it seems that the addresses of Ariana's homes are hard to locate, which isn't surprising considering a celebrity on her level would need a ton of security and privacy. Basically, it would be a challenge to stalk the girl. But if you've ever wondered where Ariana lives or what her homes are like, today I'm looking into it. Are her houses just as fabulous as she is? Hey guys, it's Kara and we've been trying something a little different here on this channel. This time we're going to be taking a look at Ariana Grande's homes and give the details on her house tours. Maybe one day Ariana will give us an actual house tour so we'll really know what her home is like, but for now it's just us. If you like this idea, I'll make more house tour vids. We also did one on Bella Thorne's Crazy Pad, the Trippy Twins Fun House, and Jeffree Star's house, and we'll have links to those at the end of this video. I've also been reading all your comments, and I'm gonna be responding to some at the end of this video. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below, and whose home you'd like to see. We also recently hit 50k subs. We're halfway to 100k, so subscribe if you're new. Okay, now let's get into this video. So way back when, pretty much in another life, when Ariana was still just an up and coming Nickelodeon star, she and her brother Frankie gave a tour of their house. This was back in 2012 and they lived together at the time. Ariana shows off her room in this video, which is I'm sure nothing compared to what she lives in now. Still bigger than mine though. In this vid, Ariana also says that this house was about 100 years old and used to belong to the director Francis Ford Coppola once, so it had some cool history. Even though this house is likely only a fraction of her current spots, it still had a lot of space, including a beautiful backyard with a pool. This house was nice, but since she lived in it like seven years ago, it's time to move on to more relevant things, like where she lives now. Like I said earlier, Ariana hasn't actually offered up any home tours of her current mansion, and I'm unsure of the exact address, but we do know a little bit about what it looks like. Apparently she's also shown it off in her Snapchat, so that's how fans confirm that it's the right spot. There are photos of the house from a few years ago, probably when it was on the market or before she moved in, but it already looked pretty epic. Ariana's Beverly Hills house spans 6,226 square feet and has 5 beds and 5.5 baths. The property is located on a big hillside and holds an amazing view of the Hollywood Hills. It's a gated property, obviously, so considering that and the steep hill the mansion situated on, Ariana gets a ton of privacy. The interior of the home is really clean and fresh looking, and all of the rooms seem spacious. Of course, there's a big kitchen and a big dining room, and most of the floors are either marble or hardwood by the looks of it. Most of the bedrooms in the house also have walkout doors to outside, or the ones in the upper levels have balconies and obviously picture-perfect views. I'd be happy living in any of them. My favorite part of Ariana's Beverly Hills Mansion has got to be the pool and outside area. The patio is huge, which would be perfect for having friends over to swim or just enjoying the scenery and laying outside all by yourself. And at night, the pool looks perfect when it's lit up as well. Although I'm obsessed with the pool in the backyard of this house, it's hard to say what the nicest part is considering I don't know how Ari decorated it. I always love seeing female celebrities' closets, so it sucks that she hasn't given a tour of this place. I imagine her bedroom and closet are both classy like her though. I don't doubt that anywhere Ariana calls home is gonna look rich, fancy, and perfect. Now let's talk about Ariana's NYC penthouse. I don't know where she spends more time, but this place is impressive to say the least. This luxury apartment in Manhattan is around the Chelsea area, and it was purchased while Ariana was still with Pete Davidson. Pretty sure we all know how expensive any piece of real estate or rent is in NYC, even if it's just a tiny room. So it's no surprise that Ariana's NYC spot cost around 6 mil to purchase. The apartment is located in a luxury complex designed by architect Zaha Hadid. And although it's a condo, I definitely consider it a mansion. It's 4,000 square feet with 5 bedrooms and 4.5 bathrooms, not much less than our house in the hills. There are beautiful views of the city and the Empire State Building as well. Aside from the home itself, the building's amenities are next level. It has what's said to be one of the only private IMAX theaters in the world, with only 12 seats that you can reserve if you're a resident. There's also a massive 75-foot indoor pool that features a sprawling skylight. 
If that's not enough, there's a wellness floor with a private spa, steam room, sauna, and plunge pool, whatever that is. There's also an automated valet system, private party space, and fitness center. Even though most buildings I know have a party space and gym, I somehow suspect that the ones in Ariana's building are a little bit nicer. So I really don't know what the deal was post breakup with Ariana and Pete and who got the apartment or if they sold it. I did notice that Ariana spent plenty of time there in the winter though, considering she posted her dogs playing on the outdoor terrace in the snow and also had a photo of her upside down Christmas tree at the NYC condo on her Instagram. And Pete did say in the past that Ari was the one who paid for the condo anyways. He told GQ last year that it did cost 16 million and spoke about Ariana saying, she's really sweet. She's like, this is our house. And I'm like, you're very nice for saying that. Thank you for letting me stay here. That being said, I have a feeling Ariana kept the fancy NYC spot as well as her Beverly Hills mansion, but that's just my theory. I mean, the girl needs options when she's traveling the world so much. After looking at Ariana's homes, all I can say is that I wish I could see more of them. I would love to see what her closets look like and how she ended up designing the places to suit her. But from the photos that we've seen, I can definitely say she's living nothing short of luxury. Hopefully one day Ariana will do a house tour so we can see more but until then, you get the idea. I think that if I had to choose where to live, I would probably go with the Beverly Hills Mansion. I've always been more drawn to Cali than NYC. The privacy of the estate and size of the property are enough to win me over. NYC is a little too crazy for me. But I'm sure anyone who's rich enough to live in a $16 million NYC apartment like Ariana would not be complaining. I mean, come on. Okay guys, so I'm gonna be reading out some of your comments from past vids. This one was from our Jeffree Star house tour vid. The life of Emily and Audrey said, I wish I lived there. And I couldn't agree more. But I would be okay with just living in Jeffrey's closet, to be honest. This comment was from the same video, and Benil de Moreno had this to say. Tacky AF. We should cancel him for being such a tacky mafioso. Well, I like your choice of words, Benil de. Very creative. I'll take a wild guess and say you don't wish you lived in Jeffrey's pink Barbie mansion. Alright guys, that's all I could find on Ariana's homes. I look forward to reading what you guys think about our houses, or if there's anything exciting that I missed. What was your favorite part? Leave some more comments so I can respond to you guys and let me know some other celebrity houses you'd like to see. I'll see you next week with some brand new videos. Bye!